Hello, I would like to share with you a story from the life of a remarkable young man, even Wilfred Woodruff. Just a few short years after he was baptized into the church, he was called to lead a company of saints from Maine to Illinois in a brutally cold winter. Wilfred describes it as a trial unlike anything he had ever experienced. He spoke of the winds and the colds and the knee-deep mud that sucked man and beast and wagon-like into it. He even spoke of death in the camp. He spoke of the illnesses that pervaded among all the families. Eventually, it was too much for a number of families and they just hold up for the winter. Wilford and others persevered on though. But shortly, Wilford's own beloved wife, Phoebe, was struck with a debilitating brain fever, as they called it. Despite all of his care and his prayers, he stood helplessly by and watched as his sweetheart pass through the veil to the other side. The pain of that moment is understood by so many. Later, however, his wife would recount her experiences to him. She said that when she passed through the veil that she was greeted by two messengers who came to her with a choice and a coffin. She could either stay and rest peacefully in the spirit world or she could return to her husband, but on the condition that she was willing to pass through every trial that would be placed upon his shoulders. She said, yes, I will do it. From the moment that decision was made, her life and her health were restored unto her in full. Later, as she spoke to her husband about these events and her experience, Wilfred wrote in his journal these words. At the moment that the decision was made, the power of faith rested upon me, and when I administered unto her, her spirit entered her tabernacle, and she saw the messengers carry that coffin out of the door. From these experiences, Wilfred learned about faith, especially when it is coupled with others, and most especially our own eternal companions. We can learn much from this humble man about perseverance, opposition, and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.